Good morning, folks. Hopefully you caught the short evening video last night on Earth's electrodynamics right here on YouTube. This morning, we've got news confined to our Earth and Sun. Let's begin with our star at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day quiet, 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 at least on the Sun. Because while there are no flaring sunspot groups and no ejecting filaments, the coronal holes have been pushing intensified streams our way, and another one arrived last night, slightly but meaningfully driving the solar wind speed purple panel second from the bottom, up to a peak which drove a brief geomagnetic storm and instability events as the wave crested over. Effects are minor, but we do see up in blue the phi angle has shifted to 180, meaning fields pointing directly sun to earth. Let's go to the weather, and obviously the cold and snow and flooding in the United States is a story right now, but many people are already forgetting about what's happening in Africa. Tropical cyclone hits the coast after days of dancing in the water. Stalls to drop incredible flooding across not only Mozambique, but here in Zimbabwe. Reports of entire towns disappearing under the water are coming in. Dozens dead. More than a hundred are missing. Four science papers to hit today. First one is a follow-up to the notion that the Atlantic is about to re-enter a cold phase shift that hasn't been seen in decades. This specific study focuses on the potential effects on the Red Sea and the cooling expected there. Folks, there's a whole chapter in volcano science textbooks heading out the window towards the dumpster. Ash-free plumes retain the charge and lightning potential, and that's not likely to be a fluke. The ions exchanged in the global electric circuit are an enormous contributor to the charge of volcanic plumes, along with heat and friction. Teams in the electroquake realm are using more and more data tying ionospheric anomalies before earthquakes to the energetic release process, and perhaps no modern earthquake is more famous for that than the Great Japan 9.0 of 2011, the Fukushima tsunami event. Oxygen enhancement, localized and widespread precursory effects, a nice look back at one of the first recognized electroquakes. Learn more about those at quakewatch.net. Website members, your fly-on-the-wall podcast from yesterday is up at suspiciousobservers.org. Of course, we also have that video out last night if you missed it. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 425 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.